Yes, thank you. It is my first time doing this. Thank you very much for welcoming it. And I, I figured I would start, you know, talking about something somewhat relatable. And I figured I'd go with work. I am a software developer, and I'll talk about sort of the, the problems I have at work. So at the moment, we're working on a CRM built with a C# -sharp API and an Angular uh, CLI with HTML, CSS. And suddenly our boss has said, "Hey, we need you to get the public Wi-Fi set up for the broadband services." And uh, my boss is a fucking cunt. <laughs> now I, I, I like work really. It gets me uh, out of uh, out of my parents' house. I was uh, living with them for a while, uh, as one does. And uh, I, I like my family. You know, they're the ones who raised me. My parents are great, but God, I just don't want to spend too much time with them. My dad is he's very sort of traditional. He likes his roast dinners, he doesn't like spicy food, he only likes action films and sports. He's a conservative. Yeah. I was expecting that. Um, you know, um, but you know, he's, he's still my dad, you know, he cursed me, he raised me, and... Um, but it's a bit weird having a conversation with him because it tends to... It's got to the point where I, I time the start of a conversation and see how long it is until he starts complaining about Covid. And uh, the media and that, you know, it's like, hey dad, how was uh, walking the dog? And five seconds in, fuck the BBC. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's fun to deal with. And then there's uh, my mum. My mum is uh, quite a bit different. Uh, she's a bit more adventurous, you know, she just retired recently. And uh, yeah, but she also has a, a little bit of a, a filter problem. One time we sat at dinner, she just asked me, what's your favourite country? <laughs> now I'm patriotic, certainly to a certain degree, but I'm not nationalistic enough to say England or United Kingdom. So naturally, how the fuck am I meant to answer, what's your favourite country? So I just say the former state of Yugoslavia. <laughs> but, um, parents are uh, uh, a fun thing. Um, I get along well with my parents. It's meeting other people's parents that I tend to sort of struggle with. Uh, when I met my first girlfriend's dad, uh, you know, I met him, I uh, shook his hand, and that was the entirety of my interaction with him. And then we went off to our room to do uh, our thing. <laughs> <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter, I was 17 anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I later found out from her that she uh, thought I was gay, that he thought I was gay, sorry. From a handshake. No, it's not the first, nor is it the last time somebody has questioned my sexual orientation. I do theatre. But, <laughs> but, putting aside the problematic connotations of discerning one's sexual orientation from a FUCKING HANDSHAKE, I wasn't expecting that when I met him, I'd have to think about the firmness of my grip. In fact, I was under the impression that when meeting a girlfriend's dad, the firmness of my grip is one of the last things I should be thinking about. <laughs> Meeting mums, on the other hand, that tends to be a lot easier for me. You know, it's something I've learned from numerous meetings with, with my mum and, and aunts and family friends. And it's something you're probably all very well aware of. Something you, are, you know, I'm going to tell you this now and you're going to already know what it is. Um, it's very easy to get along with like 9 out of 10 middle-aged women. Could you just make a bunch of jokes about wine? <laughs> and you know what? It doesn't even have to be sort of original or new. You hit them with the same dumb shit they've heard before. A bit of a, oh, I only drink wine on days ending in a while. Or, oh, it must be 8 o'clock in Paris. They will lap that shit up like an averagely priced Merlot. <laughs> I told that joke to uh, a mate a while back, and he said, oh, that's kind of funny. I'm gonna use that. Sorry, what? You're gonna use my joke? Now, some people might say they like to get up on stage and like tell jokes, and it's, it's all right, you know, just as long as I make somebody laugh, I brighten somebody's day. What a fucking load of rubbish. I get up here for the ego boost, okay? I get up here to get praise and laughter and have people love me, okay? That is all this is to me. There was one time uh, I made a joke. It was a very, you know, it wasn't a very clever joke. 
it's a bit of a, a dumb one, but it's it was to do with politics. And for those who don't know me that well, I'm not really like politically minded or like motivated, or I just don't care, okay? <laughs> so I came with this joke, not a very good joke, it's just, I only care about your politics if it involves the restoration of the ancient Roman Empire. Not a very good joke, dumb joke. <laughs> but, person who used to be a friend heard me say that, and he decided he was gonna post that on fucking Twitter. <laughs> what a fucking cunt. Okay? And this happened like two and a half years ago, and I'm still fucking pissed about it. I'm gonna find it, I'm gonna, well, do nothing, but still. Social media's not really my sort of thing, you know? I'm not really a big with, with Twitter, or I don't have Instagram, I don't really go on Facebook. Uh, I tend to do very badly in photos, you know? I have a bad habit of, you know, I tend to just stick with, like, a pout. Because <laughs> that's all I can really do, you know, I know up here on the stage I look like a cross between Ryan Reynolds and Daniel Craig, but in photos it's not all that great. Um, but there was one period of my time in, in my life, a period that haunts me quite greatly. It's a period some of you might even know about if you've seen any of the photos of me on Facebook. and It's not something I, I'm proud of, it's something I regret. So there was a period of time where every time I... This is weird. <laughs> every time I was in a photo, I put up a peace sign. <laughs> I thought I was being cool. And at the time, I thought, you know, that's kind of cool, you know? I'm that guy who puts up peace signs. And if you look at photos of me on Facebook, you will see there is a period of time where all of them just have peace signs in. Some, I kind of do, you know, admittedly look cool, and those are the ones where I'm sober. But the ones that, uh, where I've had a few drinks, it's not pretty. Twitter isn't, you know, uh, something I'm familiar with too much. You know, I've got, uh, I do have a Twitter account, and I've got a couple of tweets out there. Um, you know, there's one tweet, I watched a, a Donald Trump rally out of curiosity, and I tweeted complaining about the incessant use of the song Macho Man. Um, you know, there's another tweet which I did for the What A Side Up once. So you guys had a hashtag and I was like, oh, that's fun. And then, uh, there's one of my earliest tweets. There's a tweet where I was, I was looking for something. Not something. I don't exactly know what I, well, no, I do. I was looking for someone. I wasn't looking for inspiration, I wasn't looking for anybody special. I was out there looking for that motherfucker who stole my joke and posted it on Twitter before, and I'm still pissed about it. Thank you very much. <laughs>